Hello, and welcome to part five of our series on, statist on statistical math behind the NFL. Um, we'll be talking about win probability today. Um, so we're given this scenario. Um, team A is favored by seven points over team B um, at the start of the match. Um, so what is the probability that team A uh, wins? Uh, so uh, first we're going to draw, and because this is probability, um, the main way win probability is calculated is using um, just a normal, a normalized curve, normalized probability curve. Um, so we will draw this out and then add numbers in. All right, so we have the curve, so we need to figure out um, what the mean is and what the standard deviation is. Um, so we're actually given the mean um, as part of this problem, um, and it is seven points because um, by some means, whether it's um, expert predictions um, or um, advanced stats determining which team is better, um, at some point it's determined the most likely event to happen is that team A will win by seven points against team B. So we set the mean as seven points. Uh, and for standard deviation, um, there is a lot of advanced math to figure out how to um, calculate it. Um, but using over 50 years of data, um, the most commonly used standard deviation is equal to uh, anywhere between 13 and 14. Um, and for this example, we'll use 13.45 um, as the standard deviation. Um, so now that we have this data, um, all we have to do is just plug it in um, and figure out uh, how much um, of this, or the area of this curve, percentage of the area, um, that is um, above um, or is a winning value for team A. Uh, so the way to do that is to figure out what does it mean if team A wins. Um, so if team A scores, at least one more point than team B, team A wins. Uh, so the first thing you have to do is figure out um, the area of this curve um, that is um, on this side of 0.5 points. Um, so you can see uh, we just um, subtracted um, the area to the left of this where uh, this is equal to 0.5. So we subtracted that area um, and found that the area of this section is equal to 0.6804. Um, in the NFL, um, you don't have to win necessarily outright. You can also have a game go to overtime. Um, so you have to account for this fact by figuring out what the probability is that a game will um, end up in overtime, so any value that's between uh, 0.5 for team A to negative 0.5 for team B. Uh, so we find that the area between this curve is equivalent, or between these two points is equal to um, 0 0.0253. Um, so now, um, we have these two numbers. These are accounted for in win probability. Um, we have to add them together. Uh, we keep in mind that this one we take, um, we leave alone when we add. Um, but for overtime, um, we have to half this one because we assume that during the game, if it ends in a tie, then teams are, pre are evenly matched. So once it goes to overtime, the win probability is essentially a coin flip. Um, so we add these two together and find the total win probability um, for the start of the game. Uh, so we can see that um, we took these two numbers, um, we added them together and found that um, at the beginning of the game, given this information, um, Team A has a 69.3% chance of winning um, based on only this information. Um, and for in-game win probabilities, um, you have to do something different. Um, so you have to change uh, both of these two numbers um, during the game. Um, so 
you still keep in mind that team A was favored by seven points, um, but you have to add or subtract whatever team A's total is to this number. So let's say, for example, team A is winning um, by seven points. Um, as the mean, we would use 14, which is seven plus seven. And we also have to keep in the fact that there's less time, so there's less uh, variance in the outcome. Um, so to figure out that, I would take the standard deviation and multiply it by um, the percentage of the time left in the game. So if there are uh, 45 minutes in the 60 minute game, uh, we multiply 13.45 by 75% uh, to get the new in-game win probability. Um, thank you so much for watching uh, this final installment of the series on statistical math in the NFL. Uh, be sure to uh, check out the website, centerofmath.org, uh, or follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel to check out our other videos. Thank you.